Hi students. Um, the math videos that I posted on our Google Classroom page yesterday were actually videos that went along with the problems that were in packet number two, week number two. So I deleted that packet and I've uploaded week number three packet onto our Google Classroom and I had parents ask for specific math videos to help with packet number three. You can still use the videos from last week because all of the facts are constantly moving on and we build upon the facts to help us with this week's math. So in your Envision Math, I am going to upload an assignment for you to watch the very short video that goes along with these Envision Math pages that are in the packet. This is what it looks like on your Envision Math paper. Use mental math to subtract. Use 10 frames if needed. Now, when we talk about using mental math to subtract, I'm talking about using the 120 chart that should be in your brain. You don't need a physical one. If you do, however, need a physical 120 chart and you don't have it at home, if you can see this right here, I mean, I pretty much just took paper and crayons and just made my own. My lines are not perfectly straight. I also made one of our little windows that we like to use in the classroom, and I have them all laminated nicely on my desk, but we can't get in the building right now. The windows, we've used them. If you lay it on a number, we'll go to number 74. If you put 74 in the window... We know that the window above it is 10 less. The window below it is 10 more. The window on this side is one less. And the window on this side is one more. So this way we go one less, one more. Up and down we go 10 less, 10 more. And you can move this around. We've, um, I just made this one today. I just cut out the little windows and we even ran out of tape at the house. So I had to use hot glue to glue the edges, which was horrible. But I'm sure you guys can make one of these at home. This is just paper and cut out. This is just paper. So if this is the problem that you're shown on your vision papers, 44 minus 10. A lot of you are at that stage in math right now to where you don't even need 120 chart because it's in your brain. You can automatically find the number 44 in your brain. You can use mental math and go 10 less is up 10, up one row. So we know that the number right above 44 on the 120 chart is 34. 44 minus 10 is 34. 44 plus 10 is 54. Now, if the 120 chart doesn't help or you can't do mental math, you will need to use a 10 frame to help. So what I did is I drew 20 frames since we use them on our little handheld boards. This is 20. This is 20. <laughs> And that's just half a 20, which is a 10 frame. So 20, 40, 44. 41, 42, 43, 44. 44 minus 10. Now, if you're doing 44 minus 10, let's see if I can find my markers. I think the boys took them somewhere. Hand me that black over there, Wyatt. Or just hand me any color, Wyatt. Thank you. Thank you. That's just double sided. That's Okay. So 44 minus 10, if you take away 10, we can't take away this whole 10 frame because it's not filled. We're going to leave this alone. Let's take away an entire 10 frame. Let's take this away. Let's just pretend it's not there. So now let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 44 using 20 frames or 10 frames, minus 10. You take away one whole 10 frame. Count by 10, see what's left over. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 44 minus 10 is 34. I used 10 frames, I used mental math, or you can use a 120 chart that you make at home and just go up one row. Okay, that's one of them. Here's the other one. I can use a model, and this is a model, a 10 frame is a model. I can use a model to help me add and subtract 10. This is one of the questions in the packet. This is a lot of reading, and a lot of you won't be able to read all these words. So, here's what you need to do. Only find the important information, and I've taught you how to do that in the classroom. 
Watch me. We're going to find the important information and circle it. Rebecca and Maria each have a collection of stones. I, that has nothing to do with it. We don't need to. It's not a big deal. We're just going to ignore that part. Rebecca has 52. Now, that's important because it's a number. And I've taught you in class that if you come across a number in a math word problem, you circle the number. Rebecca has 52 stones in her collection. That's Rebecca that has 52. Maria has 10 less. That's the big word, 10 less than Rebecca. Only the parts that I have underlined in orange are important. Rebecca, 52. Maria, 10 less than Rebecca. Here's the question that you have to solve. How many stones does Maria have in her collection? So first of all, Rebecca has 52. Let's use the 120 model. Let's go to 52. There's 52. We're going to put it in our window. A 5 and a 2 make a 52. And if Maria has 10 less, we know which direction to go on the 120 chart for less. You go up. You're subtracting. You're, you're, the number is going to be lower. So if you look at the window, what's 10 less than 52? You can see it through the other green window. It's 42. So the answer is she has 42. And 42 is one of the options in your packet you can circle. Last one, what is 47 plus 10? I could do that mentally. I can say 47 plus 10 more is 57. Or you can use the 120 model. Let's go to 47 with our little window. Let's add 10. When you add, you go down 57. When you subtract, you go backwards. So you're getting 10 more. If I have $47 and somebody hands me a $10 bill, I now have $57. And that's all I have. Now, the writing one that I videotaped last night where we wrote a paper about the Komodo dragon, you can write an animal paper with those blank pages in the packet. So keep that video and watch it. The other math videos that I've uploaded, they're just extra resources. They're there to help you if you need to go back and study and review what we did last week. So keep up the good work. Go to Mayan, do your assignments and your animal projects, and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Good job, guys. Bye.